Kind of beauty you just can't fade Yeah, that flowers on the freeway Hey you, welcome back to my channel. I thought that for today, I would go through the things that I brought home from Costa Rica, like the things that I absolutely love, and um, some other things that I feel like I couldn't live without, at least for the time being. So I brought home some of that stuff as well. And then when, also when I came home, I had like a handful of boxes of things that I wanted to show you. So I figured I would unpack all of that for a couple of reasons. One is that I'm literally unpacking right now, but unpacking is the worst. So i um, kind of procrastinating. Also, um, I just thought this would be really fun. Why not? I literally got home today. Well, I went to North Carolina first to see family and then literally got off the plane today from there. So I'm still in my plane outfit. So we are really doing this right now so let's get started all right i don't even know where to start there's literally so many things over here let's start with this i have some scissors with me i had to bubble wrap this oh by the way i my sign and it has been like my whole life but i just really like figured it out in the last year is when i know i'm on the right path to doing something i see a spider and I kid you not, I unpacked my light from my bag and there was a spider in it crawling around. So I was like, that's even more of a reason for me to do this video right now. Let's get back to it. My camera's been doing this weird thing where it's been freezing, so hopefully I can get through this whole video without it freezing. So this, I took a pottery class and I made this while I was there and so it's really special. I put a heart, or not a heart, I put a sun and a moon and I painted this. I think it's like so rustic looking and fun and I put another sun and moon on the handle and I just think it's such a cute little mug and I think it's just really special. I did this pottery class with my mom and it was like I said, just really special. I thought it was gonna be more of like a green than a blue, but I still love it as pink and blue. So brought this home, obviously, in my cutie little mug. Also brought home an iHeart Costa Rica mug. This was given to me by one of our Costa Rican friends down there. And I do in fact heart Costa Rica, so I just think it's really cute and I love that she got it for me. And this is my absolute favorite incense from down there. It's coconut and cinnamon, and I'm obsessed with it. We just got these at the grocery store down there. They had so many different flavors, but this one I loved so much, so I brought whatever was left from the pack with me back home. There's probably like... 10 or 12. This, oh, I hope it's okay. This I got from one of the shops in Tamarindo and it's locally made and they had a few of them hanging in the door and every time I walked by, I was like, it's so pretty, I want one. So I finally decided to get it. It's this cute little hanging Hamza, locally made, and I just like literally think it's the cutest little thing, and it's so sparkly and colorful and fun. So I was super excited about this purchase. Next. I kid you not, the entire time that I was down there, I was scouring for an incense holder. When I was down there, I was just using a piece of coral that we got from the beach, and we just drilled a hole in it for the incense, but I wanted an incense holder to bring back because you're really not supposed to bring back like things like sand shells, things like that. So I wanted to leave that there. Scouring everywhere, asking locals like, where can I get an incense holder? On the very last day, the very last day, I went into town and was picking up like last few things that I wanted and I found an incense holder. And I just think it is literally so cute. I was picking between a few different kinds. But how pretty is this? Like you can't, you can't say no to how cute. I love it so much. Okay. Next, another thing that I found on the very last day 
was, and I was looking for it the whole time, was cacao. Okay, I get, I wasn't looking for this as hard as I was looking for the incense holder, but I was still looking for some sort of cacao. It's very, um, it's a ceremonial drink and I just really wanted to start creating that ritual for myself and what better way to get cacao than from Costa Rica. So I found these on the last day from like a health food store down there and this one is mint cacao and this bottom one is pure cacao so basically you just chop it up and then pour hot water over it i'm really excited i also just remembered that things i didn't take out of my suitcase i got some other jewelry and i got um an exfoliator so i'll probably add them to the video later but i just realized that i didn't on you're literally sitting on one of my suitcases as a tripod right now so we haven't unpacked that one yet and that's where the other stuff is but it's okay we continue we will add that later this is truthfully the funniest thing to me so i don't drink coffee i used to be obsessed with coffee and then when i went through my really bad burnout and got super sick I was not able to drink coffee like my body physically rejected it so I cut out coffee cold turkey I had massive withdrawals terrible headaches the whole nine yards but then um not but <laughs> I cut it out whole nine yards I didn't drink coffee for two years I however fully and truthfully enjoy the flavor and the taste of coffee so now if i crave it then i'll drink decaf but i still don't drink caffeine i don't drink any teas with caffeine caffeine just is not a part of my diet anymore in like the drinking form um like like a cup of coffee i'm like really struggling talking <laughs> Moral of the story is I don't seek out caffeine anymore. If I drink tea, it's decaf. If I drink coffee, it's decaf. But Costa Rica is known for their coffee. And my friends and family are obsessed with it as I used to be. So I literally went to the store on my last day and bought 20 bags of coffee to bring back and to send to people. This bag is all filled with coffee i mean they're like so deformed right now <laughs> i just think this is like literally so funny zero min something's flashing at me i don't understand oh i think my memory card ran out of battery but i deleted some stuff so we're back next I found these in the grocery store down there and it's a UK based company and I have never seen these in the US and I actually talked to them briefly on Instagram and they are not in the US so I Maui's barking so I had to bring some back <laughs> I love turmeric so I always have inflammation issues my stomach is just like honestly messed up but I do the best that I can and turmeric has always helped me and I'm obsessed with turmeric drinks that's usually like if I'm gonna get a drink in the morning it'll it'll be a turmeric drink this is from rude health it's a turmeric latte it has super clean ingredients very simple ingredient and you can heat it up you can pour it over ice and it is so delicious i love the consistency of it it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it tastes so 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 good so i'm obsessed with these i only have only i only have three but i <laughs> i'm literally holding these like they're my baby they are okay good thing about these is that they're originally stored on the shelf once you open them they have to go in the refrigerator but um i was able to bring these back because they ship just like on the shelf kind of packaging as of right now that's it for costa i'm gonna cut right now to a future me that's gonna show you some of the other things that you got like jewelry and some skincare so let's cut hello it is future me here to show you the last few things from unpacking that i did not have with me so the first thing hang on let me get more comfy the first thing i absolutely loved 
but it was one of those things where I looked at it and really wanted it, but I didn't know if I wanted to like spend that money right then and there. So I decided that I would step away and I would see if I was still thinking about it, which I indeed was. And so I went back and decided to buy it and it is this beautiful ring. I got it, it's locally made. I got it in town in Tamarindo and it is a tumbled peridot and peridot is my birthstone because I was born in August, Virgo baby and then a raw citrine. I think it's getting blurry, but anyway, I'm obsessed with this. I think it is literally so beautiful. And going back to buy it only made me love it more and no part of me regrets it. So definitely excited about it. Okay, the rest that I have in here, these things are also jewelry. Not, I have one thing that's not jewelry, but I'll show that last. So Whenever we go to the beach, there's always like beach sellers. They sell like little pots. They sell these little like bird whistle things. And then there's women who sell jewelry. And there's this one woman in particular who my parents always buy their jewelry from on the beach. So we went and found her and I got this bracelet with all of these different, um, crystals, stones, beautiful things. I also, as like a set, my parents surprised me with this. They came home one day. Hang on, I'm wearing it. Ugh. Can you see that? This anklet and it's with gold stone. So they got me that and that matches this necklace. So it has three different length gold stones. I wore this a couple of times while I was down there. I think it's a super cute from the same vendor. I also got this and this is jade. She actually made this for me. I asked for a piece of jade and then she cut it the length that I wanted it. So that's what I got from the beach vendor just like over time while we were there. And then on my last day, I've been seeing these kind of necklaces everywhere, but they're always like, honestly like one to $300. And like, that's just like not it for me right now. So I saw these, decided that I was gonna cut here. Let me just show you. So this is one, this is just quartz. And this, the way that the stone is on it the way that the stone is connected is like what I've been seeing everywhere. This black kind of like leather band string string is like not the vibe that I'm going for. So what I'm going to do is cut this and add it to gold chains that I just like have laying around at home. And then I also got this opalite one. So I got both of these and I'm gonna put them on some gold chains and it's gonna be <clears throat> really cute. And then the last thing that I wanna show you is this face scrub from Aromas. And I found this in a, like in the natural health food store where I got the cacao. And it's argon, orange, and vanilla. The reason I didn't have it with me is because I was using it. This is what it looks like. Ooh, there's so much in here. It smells absolutely delicious and it leaves my face so freaking soft. So I have been loving this. Organic, certified, cruelty-free, certified B Corp, all of the great things. You can see all of their different certifications that they have. Clean beauty for the wind. All right, so that's all from future me. Let's go back to, I guess, present me. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna continue now with the things, like an unboxing haul, the things that were waiting for me when I got home. So I've been gone for a little bit over two months, so it's been a while. So I have a couple of packages here and I'm excited to show you. So the first thing, this is actually really funny because I, asked for a certain certain things for my sister from my sister for Christmas but long story short she had some serious issues with order fulfillment the place that I actually recommended to her I've never ordered anything but I had followed them on Instagram for a while never actually fulfilled or sent her order so I haven't talked to her since I've gotten home yet but I'm hoping that they like refunded her and it wasn't just like a huge scam so 
I guess she found someone else through Etsy and she got me a bunch of things and it was really cute when I came home. It was in my room and it was wrapped in Christmas <laughs> wrapping paper. So I'm excited to open this and show you. She got me some smudge sticks. This one is eucalyptus. It says healing and divine, divine truth. So um, these are all from Element of Sri, S-R-I, Sri. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong, um, but it's on Etsy. So she got all these on Etsy. This one is eucalyptus and look how it comes. A little smudge kit with a crystal, a Palo Santo, and then the eucalyptus. So you just burn, burn this here. You can also burn the Palo Santo. You obviously can't burn the crystal. Oh, but it smells so freaking good. So she got me this cute little eucalyptus bundle which is all just dry eucalyptus. So like I said, you burn, you can burn this and smudge the space. You can also burn the Palo Santo and cleanse the space. So that was one of them that she got. This one is sunflower and this is healing and joy. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have noticed that every single caption I end with a sunflower in my bio. There's also a sunflower. Sunflowers hold a really special place in my heart. Um, they not only connect me to my papa, which is my mom's dad who has crossed over, but they just bring me a lot of good memories from my childhood. And how can you look at a sunflower and not smile? Like they're literally beautiful. They're usually freaking huge and they smell really good. I actually have a sunflower tattooed on the back of my arm and in the stem it says brown eyed girl because that's what my papa used to call me. So I am obsessed with sunflowers so I just thought it was so special that she got me this. And this one is another bundle. I caught it. I caught it. Okay. This one is another bundle. So you see you have the crystal, the Palo Santo, and the smudge of sunflower. The smudge stick, so same thing. You can light this and smudge. You can light the Palo Santo and cleanse. And it also smells freaking delicious. Oh my gosh, it's so energizing and brightening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> literally sit here and just sniff this all day long. This one's so good. I love it. And then this is the Yerba Santa. This is healing and protection. And this one is beautiful. I am obsessed with it. Like how pretty. And it smells very earthy. Oh but I love it. Like you, the stems are really thick. I've actually never used this before. I just think it's beautiful. Oh, it's so good. Okay, this is actually what I asked for. <laughs> she got all those other things. It's amazing. So I wanted an abalone shell so I can put, whoa, all these little, I feel like you could stick incense in here. You see these holes? Anyway, this is huge. I did not expect it to be this big. And this is an abalone shell. And so you can put like your Palo Santo, your smudge and like just lay it in here after you smudge and it'll just the flame, the smoke, the fire will just fade out once you're done smudging. If it's still going, you can just set it in here and it'll safely um, hold on to it without starting a fire. So I'm super excited about this. I've never had an abalone shell, so I'm really excited. And it's so freaking big. And then this, this I believe is a stand for it. I mean, it just looks really cool on its own, but I think that you put it like this and rest this in it like that. So you can put it anywhere. It's so cool. Yeah. So I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with all of these things that she got me. I, a long time before I left, I placed a pop socket order and ask anyone that knows me, especially during 2016 to 2017, I am an OG pop socketer. I, 
every time I went out to the bar during that time, I, <laughs> I had two pop sockets on and people would always ask me what they were and people literally thought I worked for them because like I would sell them on it like none other. It was basically a personality trait. I was obsessed with pop sockets. I even have the thing in my car that you stick it in, everything. But I would say in the last like two years, I haven't really been using them because I was living, no, two, three years, um, I was living in Manhattan and the best thing for the pop socket is that I could put it in my car and just like let it be. And I no longer <laughs> drove my car and then it just kind of would like get in the way. I'd be using like small bags and it wouldn't fit comfortably. And so I just put them in a little bit of storage, but I still get their emails and they were having a warehouse sale. And so like weeks, couple of weeks before I left, I ordered a couple of pop sockets, but they didn't get here in time and that was okay. But this was one, I thought it was really cute. And these were super cheap because they were on the sale. I think they were like $7. So I got this one and I got this one that says breathe, which I think is super cute and like so on brand. Obviously I was super excited to put it on immediately when I got home. So now my phone will be able to rest again on my, I guess it's my dashboard really in my car. This is from a small business and we follow each other on TikTok and I've been such a fan of her glosses, but I didn't want to buy any until I left Costa because I just like didn't want it sitting, sitting in my room. I just like wanted them as soon as I got home, but I didn't see the point of like waiting. I don't know. So I ordered these like a few days before I left and it also was because she dropped all new shades and so I was super excited. So this is from Diane K Vegan Beauty. And like I said, we follow each other on TikTok and she like just started blowing up and I'm like so excited for her. And so I really wanted to support her because she supports me and she's a cutie. And so I ordered three new, I think she dropped five new shades and I got three of them. And they're super affordable. Like I was shocked at how affordable they were. So this is her cute little packaging. She puts a couple cards in here with a coupon for your next order. Wait, let me show you a picture of her. She's literally such a baddie. We love a babish. And then these are the glasses that I got. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Yay, Yay. missed you. Missed you too. I forgot where I left off. I got um, these lip glosses. She also has falsies, like false eyelashes, and she has lip glosses. And I saw these sparkles and literally died. Like, are you kidding? So freaking cute. So really excited. Also, I got this red and I'm, it's upside down. I got this red and I'm usually pretty weary about getting red like online because I'm very particular about the color of my lips but I pretty I'm obsessed with this red so much goes on the applicator by the way like it, it truthfully like doesn't look like that much and then you put it on and you're like oh okay cool there's a ton putting on lip gloss is not cute doing it on the camera and this could be so crooked but anyway how freaking cute is this gloss I'm obsessed with it and I think it's the perfect red. My brain's like a little slow today, but so cute. My camera got too hot and shut off, but we're gonna keep powering through. So last but not least, we have two boxes from Verse. They're cruelty-free, non-toxic vegan skincare and we know I'm so here for that. So they sent two boxes full and I was super, super excited. I'm not in love with the fact that they sent two boxes because it could have definitely be sent in one and we're like trying to save the planet like even just a little bit, but grateful, beyond grateful to be on their mailing list. So the first one that I just opened up now, this is what they sent me. I'm a big, I, I'm a big lip girl. Like I don't have big lips, but I will always have some sort of lip product on me. I am like pretty much psychotic about like dry lips. They just, they don't happen for me because I refuse to let it happen because I always have chapstick. So anyway, always down to get new lip stuff. Clearly I just got three new lip glosses that are 
super moisturizing. Anyway, they sent me this silk slip tinted lip oil and blossom. So it has jojoba oil and vitamin E. I'm really excited. This is like a a good lip color that i'm like comfortable with buying online red i always get scared about but clearly it worked out um but this is yeah a tinted lip oil so i'm really excited to try it and then they also sent this scarf <laughs> and literally the first thing when i opened it up all of a sudden you know that tiktok trend where it's like baby please don't go and like everyone it's like they mouth it and then it's in the car and then everyone has the silk over their head with like the big sunnies and they're like i'm gonna wake up tomorrow da, da, da. you know what i mean so anyway i opened up this scalp the skirt <laughs> and that was the first thing i thought about except it's not <laughs> i don't um <laughs> i just i think it's so funny tiktok has literally taken over my life so anyway, this is the scarf. And they also sent this Photos Please Brightening Tightening Mask that you can get 12 applications out of this. I'm really excited. It says it's for aging skin and dullness. Last thing in this box is the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. I'm pretty sure this is new. I'm super down to new, try a new cleanser. It says a gentle cleanser with a light frothing lather and a dash of refreshing mint. <gasps> I love mint. I was talking to my dad about this the other day. I love mint. Mint tea, mint gum, mint flavors, mint every like mint ice cream, mint chocolate chip ice cream is one of my favorites. It's mm, it's my favorite. It's absolutely my favorite. I would say mint chocolate chip ice cream and then strawberry ice cream. Call me basic, whatever. That's what I like. Mmm. Wow. And like, who says cleanser has to smell good? Verst. Verst said cleanser has to smell good. <sighs> Thank you, Verst. Okay. Last package from Verst. They got me a headband. Okay. I've been wanting to get more headbands and you need, you need to tell me honestly if you think this is cute or not. What do we think? Minus the tag. What do we think? <laughs> do we think it's cute? I like how it's poofy. Like, it's such a look. It's such a vibe. I feel like with the right outfit, I could totally make it cute. So those are all of the things that I brought home with me from Costa and that were waiting for me when I got home. So I hope you enjoyed this little unpacking, unboxing moment with me. And I'm so grateful that you're here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun content like this, more of the authentic wellness lifestyle, more on meditation, more mindful moments, all of the good things. And I will see you soon. Kind of beauty you just can't fade.